Belinda. Hi there. How are you, Belinda? Hi, Janet. Hello there. I'm fidgeting again, trying to get comfortable, like I normally do. Hello, Flower. How are you? Hello there. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Janet. How are you? Hello, Joe. How are you, Flower? Been enjoying the sunshine. Hello, Lindy. Good afternoon. And Janet says, hello, Leslie. Yoo-hoo. Hi, Fran. <laughs> I'm Ely. Hello, Fran. I'm very well, Belinda, thank you. Are you? Is the family okay? Hello, Susan. Good afternoon. Yes, everybody's enjoying the sunshine. Yes, I think they will be. I don't blame them. Hello, Jennifer. Hi there. I'll just wait a few moments just to let everybody join. Hello, Sue. Good afternoon, Shirley. How are you? Hello, Hilary. Hello, Leslie. Hello there. Oh, I bet it's nice and hot in your conservatory, Leslie. Hello, Anne. How are you, Flower? Is David enjoying his garden? A beautiful day in Pennsylvania. I still can't get over that when there's people watching from all over the world. It's still weird. Oh, I'm glad, Belinda. A day off today, Belinda? Hello, Liz. Good afternoon. Hello, Gabby. Lovely greetings from Germany. Now, is it Guten Abend? Is that good afternoon? Guten Abend? Yeah, I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Hello Madeline, hello there. Hello Sarah John. Good afternoon. Hi peeps. Hi peeps, who used to say that? I used to say peeps. Hi peeps. Hi Sue. Who used to say peeps? Oh, that comedian with load, lots of money, loads of money or whatever it's called. I've forgotten his name now. Oh, thank you Fiona. What's his name that says loads of dosh? He used to say peeps, didn't he? What was his name? Oh, thank you, Jeannie. Oh, you were hoping it was today. Maybe, maybe Monday, Jeannie. Glorious weather. I haven't made the most of it, Carolyn, but I'm going to over the next couple of days. I must be the only one who hides from the sun. No, you're not, Linda. I do as well. I can sit out for half an hour and then have to come and hide again. Hi, Karen. What's his name? The guy that used to say loads of dosh. Loads of money. He used to say peeps. Yay, Belinda. Hopefully, when the operation's out the way, you can enjoy your stamps. Hello, Patsy. I'm very well, are you? Harry Enfield. That's it, June. I can always rely on June. <laughs> <laughs> That's who I was thinking of, Harry Enfield. He used to say peeps, didn't he? Thank you, Ali. That's it, Harry Enfield. He used to say hello, peeps, peeps. Oh, now I'm showing my age just for a change. That's it, everybody knows apart from me. Harry Enfield, that was it. It was because Sue said hello, peeps. It doesn't take me much to go off on a tangent, does it? I'm useless. No, I'm the same, Lynn. I hide from the sun. That's why I'm blue. Harry Enfield. See, you all know. <laughs> it was I got my brain isn't functioning. Hello, Chris. It is glorious, isn't it? Did you enjoy your visit with your daughter, Chris? Hello, Pauline. Yay! Brilliant, Pauline. I hope your visit went well, Chris, with your daughter. I hide too. It doesn't do doesn't do well with me, nor me, Sue. I'm hopeless. Hello, Marianne. I expect it's blowing a hooly Harry Henfield. <laughs> Harry Henfield. I just couldn't remember his name. I was thinking, what's his name? Yes, for sure. I must do some sorting and organising soon. Yes, Belinda. At least once the operation's out the way. You can maybe settle a little bit. Loads of money. That was it. That's what he used to say. Loads of money. And he used to say peeps as well. I mean, he used to irritate me as well, but... <laughs> <laughs> yes, 
you find me under the parasol or indoors I'm going to go under the tree next I'm going to sit under the tree yeah loads of money that was it so you see I'm glad somebody else is on my wavelength hello Pat hello there there's still a few people joining us so I'll just wait a couple of moments being blue is better than getting t yes that's very true Gayla yes I'm very blue I must admit <laughs> I could do with a tiny little bit of shading if I could just use a pencil and shade my legs so they, they went from maybe blue to just you know a slight bit of colour <laughs> I spent a little bit of time in the garden Fiona but I then had to somebody asked for some work so I had to do some work I sit in the shade as well so I just thought I'd show this card from the other day, you know, when we created this two days ago. Just thought I'd show you how well it all looks when it's stuck down. My skin doesn't like the scorn, skin. Scorn? Skin? <laughs> my skin doesn't like the sun either, Sue. <laughs> I saw a salad spinner at my work at the grocery, but refrained because I'm... <laughs> oh, bless Belinda. But that's that's the card now. I guess what I did Belinda I ordered some paints some runnier paints so I can have a go whoops but I qu I'm quite pleased with this stamping into the clear embossing I was quite pleased with how that card came together so I just thought I'd show it because sometimes it's nice to see it when it's stuck down when it's all flat so I just thought I'd show that I know a tanning moisturizer they do Belinda I haven't been out that's the problem <laughs> so yes hello hope how are you it's a really good suntan lotion oh right oh it's blowing a hooli for jennifer it's beautiful here it's beautiful here so yes yeah, so i just wanted to show that because i just thought it showed how effective that embossing really is if you can hear some background noise i do apologize i've got the window open just to let some fresh air in so if you hear some background noise that isn't me I know I quite like the text Chris I was quite pleased how it came out just in the clear embossing it's really effective I thought that was quite effective I'm quite pleased with that and guess what it's sturdy it's a sturdy card <laughs> you know what I'm like for sturdy so yes so I'm going to use the honeybee oh thank you Lucy I was quite pleased with that one I was pleased with how it came out Hello, sorry. I must have missed you when you joined. Hello, Marie. Janet Barber, hate to think what I'd be like without it. <laughs> so we're going to use the honeybee today because I want to use it again because I really enjoyed it. No noise. Oh, brilliant, Belinda. I just wondered whether you could hear the outside noise. So good afternoon, Thursday. And Steve-O's skin loves the sun now. And goes a lovely tan. All right, don't rub it in, Stevo. Just because I'm blue, look. Look at that beautiful tan. Can you see it? Look at that, Stevo. Can you see the white lines? Not. That's called milk bottle skin. <laughs> no, it was on top of the uh, embossing. I just used silver wax. Silver wax. Hello, Lynn. Just got back from shopping. Oh no, no, no. I don't fancy them cues. I love the bee. I love the bee. So hopefully, I, I wanted to use it again because I don't just like to do one card. I like to do a few cards. I love the bee. Hubby has chosen now to pressure wash the garden. <laughs> I bet that's nice and quiet. Hello, Linda. How are you? Hello, Linda. Welcome. We missed you, Steve. Of course we did. <laughs> Uh, trust me, Belinda, I've got plenty of wrinkles. Trust me, loads of wrinkles. Right, what I've, I'm going to work on a circular format. I've got a great tan on my arms, but my legs are from white. No, mine are blue, Jennifer, never mind white. The beehive, I was pleased how that came out when I drew the beehive. I think it's really cute. It's quite a good size as well, Chris. So that's the size of the beehive. There's the swirl, so there's the beehive. It's quite a good size. That's what I like about some of the stamps. They're good sizes. Right. Oh, bless Linda. Thank you, Linda. She's telling you it's a must-have, Chris. <laughs> so what I've done, I've scored 
my circular piece of card which you might not be able to see here but I've scored at one inch intervals and what I'm going to do is just fold the card just so that I can reinforce those crease lines so I'm just reinforcing the crease lines so I've just scored at one inch intervals thank you Lindy so I've just scored the circular card at one inch intervals and I'm just reinforcing those score lines I'm just reinforcing them I love working on a circular format there's just something about it for me my non-stick craft sheet isn't very clean though I must say it's picking up a nice bit of grit so I've now got a circular piece that's all folded so it's got those nice crease lines and it's got a bit of dirt on there from my non-stick craft sheet. Look how that stays up, look at that. So what I'm going to do now, hello Lillian, hello there. Hello Francis, hello Helen. Oh, thank you Lindy. Hi Dawn. So what I'm going to do now is use uh, my speckled egg ink came, so I thought it was a good excuse to use the speckled egg. The circle is around about 8 inches. Let me just check. Hang on, Mario. Oh, you know what I'm like for measurements. Yes, it's 8 inches. The circle is 8 inches. I think that's about, what's that, about 20 centimetres, something like that. So I've just scored at 1 inch intervals. So I, I had to use it because the speckled egg came. <laughs> well, I thought, why not use it and prove that I buy things as well? It's not just you, it's me that buys things as well. But you know I'm a, a raving, loony shopper anyway, don't you? Barbecue on, veg prepared and now sitting in the garden with the laptop. Yet yeah, taking notes. <laughs> that sounds so professional, Catherine. Oh, have you got yours on order, Anne? Yay! <laughs> Mine arrived, so I thought, let's use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swipe my speckled egg very lightly. Obviously, this is a very wet ink pad because it's brand new. I'm sorry about the door banging. It's just there's a lovely breeze coming through. So I'm just going to swipe my speckled egg ink pad over my circular piece of card. And I fancied doing a circular piece just for a change. It's not coming till mid-June. Oh, mind you, mind you, what we're on the 1st of June on Monday. Oh, thank you, Karen. Thank you. So I'm just now going over very lightly with the speckled egg. Just remember, when you order a new ink pad, it's very wet. So just remember that. It's very wet. So use light pressure. Now into four weeks waiting for... Oh, no, Hope. Oh, no. Hopefully it'll get to you soon. So I'm just now swiping across. Just until I'm happy with that colour, which I am. And then I'm going to spritz. Mine is mid-June too. Oh, wow. Mind you, it's the 1st of June on Monday, isn't it? 1st of June, Monday. So not too long. Not too long to wait, is it? Do you like how that's nice and curly look? One inch, yes, I scored at one inch intervals. Exactly, Belinda, that's what it's meant to remind you of. So I'm just going to dry that. It does look a bit like weathered wood, doesn't it, Chris? I thought that. But I think when I put them together, it's slightly different. There's a m Not until you put the weathered wood together with it, you can see that it's got more of a bluey shade than a grey sort of slightly anyway but I don't need an excuse to buy anyway you know what I'm like I am so late sorry my friend across the road bought us a yummy afternoon tea I tell you what Chris I think the, yam the yummy afternoon tea is more interesting so I'm just giving this a dry it does doesn't it Cass weathered wood panels exactly I'd just put my finger on that when it was red hot which was not a sensible thing to do because my card's red hot so just bend your card so it's nice and flat and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of acetate and I'm going to use vintage photo 
It's very nice, isn't it? I don't care. I just wanted an excuse to buy something. <laughs> so, third lot of pre-ordering from Art from the Heart website. So, come in June time. Well, it's not too long anyway, um, Catherine, because we're on the 1st of June on Monday. So, you won't have to wait long. And at least you know it's coming. So now I'm going to use Vintage Photo on the top. So I'm just going to apply my Vintage Photo to my acetate. Just squishing it across my acetate. And I'm just going to spritz that with water. I don't want to add too much colour at the moment. I'm just going to add some light layers of that colour. Just to age it a little bit. Just to add some light layers. And I'm making sure that I use all that ink. Let's move it up so you can see. I'm making sure that I use all that ink from my acetate. Do you need an excuse to buy? I never need an excuse to buy. <laughs> I never do, Steve-o, trust me. I'm one of the best shoppers on the planet. In fact, that's my second hobby, is shopping. That's my second hobby. I love to shop. I don't mind. We all have to have bad habits, it's just that I've got more than most. I've got more than most. I enjoy my shopping habit. Uh, I think Tumult's new colour was on Simon, but on pre-order. Yes, I think it is on pre-order. But I put mine on pre-order pre when it first came out. That's how much of a hardened shopper I am. When it was first advertised, I put my pre-order in. So I'm now going to spritz that with water once again. Spritz it with water once again. And then I'm going to dry. Hello Jane, how are you? Tea is normally cold. I'm eating afternoon tea while watching. So best of... Oh Chris, how lovely. Afternoon tea sounds just wonderful. Hubby's cooking my tea, but then you wouldn't expect anything else, would you, from me? Everybody has different time frames. I know they do, don't they? Hello, Stefania. Hello there. How are you? So I'm just giving this a good dry because I've wet it a little bit. <laughs> I like shopping, but hubby doesn't like me spending his money. <laughs> it's quite, ni quite a nice thing to do, Gillian. Very relaxing. Nothing complicated. So I've given that a nice dry. And now I'm going to use stamp sets. I've forgotten the name, the stamp set number now. What stamp? Is it 334? Heartfelt. Heartfelt. Oh, I'm useless. What's, what number's my heartfelt one? Heartfelt is... Oh, 314. Oh, 304. So I'm using this set. Not that I can get it out of my bag. It won't come out, it's stuck. I'm using this stamp set next. If anyone asks, I'm blaming Tracy for spending my money during lockdown. <laughs> you can blame me, that's fine. <laughs> my husband blames me, so I just carry on. So what I'm going to do now is use stamp set 304 and I'm going to use the speckled egg because th I'm glad you all know, honestly, sorry, I'm brain dead. And Cass knows 304. They all know better than I do, honestly. My brain cells are deteriorating so much that I can't even think straight. So I'm now going to use the speckled egg just to give me a tone on tone effect. So I just want a tone on tone. And I have to say, when you stamp with this speckled egg, it does stamp rather nicely. It's rather a nice colour. I will lift it up so you can see. But obviously I'm going for tone on tone. Can we can we send you the bill? Uh, no, I'd rather you didn't send me the bill. Only I have quite a few bills of my own. Quite a few of them. In fact, I've got about seven parcels coming. Hey ho. But what you need to know is I'm as bad as this all year round, not just lockdown. Are you still waiting for your speckled egg, Anne? Yes, I ordered mine quite early on because I like the oxides, so I ordered it quite all early on. 
So I'm just adding this around the background. I will lift it up so you can see. Let me just get why. You are so right, Hope. We also often say tea when it is evening. I know we we not we, we confuse a hope, don't we? We're confusing hope with tea times, lunch times, dinner times. So can you see I've got a nice tone on tone effect? You can see the stamping here. Oh, you can see it in the picture clearly, actually. You can see it. Uh, I, th I, I think it's Janet, Margaret. Yes, it's an eight inch circle, Belinda. <laughs> Liz, I'm just as bad. I've got parcels coming all the time. So I'm now going to use my splattered numbers stamp. Don't don't ask me numbers. Splattered number. I mean, why do I have to have numbers? It's a nightmare. 350. I'm going to use my splattered numbers now. So I'm creating my background. James said he would be happy to add my order to your account. Did he, Kay? Yes, we'll have a word with James about that. <laughs> That I'd, I bet James would message me straight away if somebody said that. He'd be in panic mode. I know what James would be like. <laughs> so I'm now just going to add some background stamping with my numbers. I love that speckled egg stamping. Just a tone on tone effect. Just sticking with these two colours. Just to make it cohesive. So I'm sticking with these two colours. Just for now anyway. And I'm not thinking about it too much. I'm just stamping where I feel. You still haven't got 350? Oh, I'm addicted to that. But then again, I'm addicted. The thing I like about background stamps is you don't have to think about it too much. You get a lovely background without much effort with the background stamps. That's what appeals to me so much, is that you get so much interest just from a couple of little background stamps. So I'm just adding a little bit more detail, probably around about which numbers, to, I can't even remember what numbers I pressed then. So just add a little bit more here. Let's, did James say he was going to stock salads? Oh, James thinks, we, James thinks you've all lost the plot, seriously. He thinks you've all lost the plot. He, th he thinks I've gone totally mad. So what I've got now is I've got another piece of card, three inches by five inches. So I've also scored that at half inch intervals. So I'm just now going to score, just to score this. Let me move this out the way. Move that up there. So I'm, I've now got another piece of card that echoes the card for the focal image. And I've just picked up some speckled egg. So this is scored at half inch intervals. Then I'm not sure because I'm in the US. Me, Kevin and Mike, me too. What are we all saying me too? I'm on first name terms with the postman. <laughs> yes, my postman knows me very well, knows me very well. So what I've got now is I've got another piece of card that's scored just to coordinate with the focal image as well. Just to coordinate with that. That's just... Oh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour that exactly the same, but I'm just going to distress the edges. So I'm just going to distress the edges a little bit. And just tear, just to distress those edges a little bit. Hello Elaine, it's asking me to bring Elaine on camera like it normally does, must be a new thing that must be. Oh my messages are not moving up now, what part of the US Belinda? The salad spinners, I did a technique yes, uh, two days ago Pam, it's on YouTube, I did a technique with the salad spinner Pam, it's now on YouTube. So I'm just distressing the edges a little bit on my card. For <laughs> Cass has found salad spinners at Ikea. <laughs> so funny. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to colour this piece in exactly the same way. Just so that it gives, this will give me some more texture and some more dimension. And what I'll do is I'll just, 
add a few creases as well just to the card just to age it a little bit that's it just to give it some age so I'm just going to colour it in exactly the same way just colour it in exactly the same way as the circle just so that this piece coordinates with that piece in exactly the same way but this one is scored at half inch intervals rather than one inch intervals so this is half inch intervals again I'm going to spritz with water hello Maureen I'm having technical problems today oh dear I don't like it when I get technical problems so I'm just spritzing that with water Steve-O says hi Sue Yes, I've not I've not been out for weeks now to be honest. I've not been out for a good many weeks. I'm getting quite used to it now to be honest. I'm getting quite used to being stuck in. If I'm honest. So I'm coloring this in exactly the same way. I'm using vintage photo to color the image. Spritzing my acetate again to add a little bit of color in the background. This is just so that I've got layers, so that it, my project isn't flat. It's so that I've got layers to my project. So we'll just give that a dry. My poster rings, the balance sings, happy post to you. <laughs> oh, Mario, that's lovely if he sings that. Oh, your comments weren't working, were they, Maureen? Sometimes it does play up like that where the comments don't work. I don't know why, but it does do it sometimes. I'm going to add a little bit more vintage photo. Yes, I, do, I love my garden, Anne. I do love the garden. And, and that helps when you're in lockdown. If you haven't got a garden, then it makes it a little bit more difficult. But I must admit, I, I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy not travelling, to be honest. The travelling is what used to get to me. It's so tiring. So again, just spritz that with water, just a little bit more. Distress speckled ox. Oh, I love the distress oxide. It's lovely, Maureen. It's so nice. Now, if I try to reply, it says replying to Belinda and myself. I know I noticed that, Belinda. It doesn't take much to confuse me. Hi, Jane. How are you? Good afternoon. So I've given that a dry. So I'm now going to add my stamping like before. So add a bit of stamping to this one, just so it coordinates with my other piece. So I'm going to add the stamping to this. I have to say I'm quite liking this colour. I really am liking this colour. Nice juicy ink pad. So I'm just adding the same, I'm just copying the stamping from the background into this piece as well just so that it becomes cohesive this is the first time i found tracy as soon as i got on that's a make the most of it hope it doesn't last very long it usually takes me ages to find somebody so what i'm going to do as you've guessed is now add the splattered numbers to the background just to add the the same detail in the background and I love adding the stamping over the stamping. It just gives a nice effect. I love doing that. So this time we'll just add some of these numbers. Just add some of these numbers. You can add the numbers. You don't have to add the big numbers. You can just add the little numbers as well. It doesn't have to be the big numbers. It can just be the little numbers in the background. So I'm just going to add a few here. That's perfect. So then what I'm going to do is I've got, this is going to go here like so, and then I've got these strips of card, which I'm going to add. I mean, look at the state of my fingers, they're not clean at all. Let me just wipe my fingers. Just had great news out local. How often do I release new stamps? That depends on abs, Karen. That depends on abs, not me. I, I'm just asked for designs and then it's up to abs when he releases them. 
so normally it used to be three times a year sometimes there's special occasions but that's up to abs when he releases them so I'm just going to add these strips of card here what's that Michelle we're all saying what's that Michelle just had great news out local so I'm just going to add these strips of card these are just strips of card as you know that are always left on my desk because I've always got little strips of card and I ref refuse to waste them so I'm not going to waste them so we're just going to add the strips of card like so just because I don't want to waste those strips of card and it adds another texture for me so just make sure we've got no adhesive showing and then what I want to do is take my kitchen roll and then I'm just going to dab the speckled egg. Oh, so do I. I've put my strips in a bag for later. You Exactly. Don't bin them strips. So I'm just going to dab my speckled egg with my kitchen roll and I'm just going to apply it just so those white, the whiteness isn't too stark. So I'm just using my kitchen roll just to apply some speckled egg. That's it, just to the background of those little stripe pieces. And then what I'll do is I'll just add a little bit of text on the strips of card. Ha yes, I've opened a new glue bottle. I have, yes indeed. So I'm now going to, I don't open one very often. I have to make sure they're completely empty. So I'm just going to add a bit of text to those strips of card. So this is what I've got. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this down Make sure them torn edges. It's all right, Rizwani. Hello there, how are you? Hope you're well. So I'm just adding this piece to my project, like so. Just press that down. Push that up a little bit. There we go, what we're saying. Speckled egg is lovely, isn't it, Eugenie? I think it is. I don't know, Shelley. I got my speckled egg from Art from the Heart. I don't know who's got it in at the moment or who's got it on pre-order. Some people have had it in stock. Some people have got it on pre-order. Mine was on pre-order ages ago. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a piece of wood. So I've got a piece of wood here and I think another background stamp that I'm really keen on I'm just going to use this stamp I'm going to use this stamp here because this stamp is slowly becoming one that I use quite frequently because it's just so useful to use with all the other images so I'm going to use this one the three order oh, oh I'm now doing the three order oh third order oh right got you so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the speckled egg so some of the speckled egg to the non-stick craft sheet and the vintage photo the vintage photo and then I'm going to spritz with water and then I'm going to dab my wood into the ink I'm going to press my wood into the ink which will be quite absorbent so I'm just pressing that into my ink so that the wood is coloured just a little bit more of the speckled egg I love using wood slices mainly because it just gives me an added texture an added piece of dimension so I'm just adding a little bit more of the speckled egg so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my background stamp because this will stamp nicely on there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use ground espresso ground espresso let me just wipe my glue which I've got everywhere just wipe my glue which I've just tipped everywhere there we go so I'm now going to stamp onto the wood slice so the wood slices I had ages ago Carolyn I ordered them ages ago so you'll have to put a search for wood slices but don't pay expensive for them. I didn't pay expensive for mine. So I'm just going to add some stamping. 
just to the background of my piece of wood and look how fab that weird then that wording looks this stamp is so useful so I'm now just going to stamp this on here so I'm just using the ground espresso to add the stamping the wood slices I ordered ages ago I just did a search for wood slices they, were, they weren't very expensive but I can't remember where I got them from because it was a long time ago and when I went in my drawer today I thought oh I should use some of them so I'm just now adding but for me it just adds another little dimension and it makes you, it gives something else for you to stamp on I don't like always stamping onto the same thing got to go hubby unloading a trailer full of wood no problem Jenny enjoy your project whichever it is what you're doing with the wood you see and I love this stamp stamped in the background I just think it's such a nice stamp love it love it just for I, lo I just love the words there's just something about the words and using them as a background it just gives another element to your design sorry I was just reading the comments then I was just reading the comments I just love that and that's just one element of the stamp set this is for me why stamp sets are so versatile as long as you've got a good stamp set and there's lots of detail on your stamp set this is what I like about them the fact that you can create pieces with loads of different stamps and you can bring them all together but that for me is a lovely just background in itself it, it doesn't really need anything else it just looks nice as it is I absolutely love it love that so I'd now just need to use my ultra thick gel and what we'll do is we'll put a little clip on the edge of this as well not that I can open I can't open them let me just that's put one of them on the edge of there just so it gives a metallic feel it's just a nice bit of dimension isn't it Anne uh, for me you know what I'm like you know what I'm like when it comes to textural things you know I, I love adding dimension and textural layers it's just what I like doing so I'm always on the lookout for something different to stamp on it's just the way I am and it just makes your projects a little bit different and it's just to for me personally when I'm doing a Facebook live what I'm trying to show you mainly is that you can use your stamps on lots of surfaces just so that you realize that your stamps don't just have to be stamped on paper and card I mean that background stamp on wood I will be doing that again I mean I just think that background stamp is lovely and even we could even add let's just clean this let's just clean this stamp and I think Chris is right sometimes parts of stamps appeal to you but then not until you use them you realize that how useful they are so I'm just going to add a bit of this wording in the background oh the be I'm so pleased you love the beetle now Belinda because you weren't sure at first were you but then I said that to Chris as well sometimes stamp sets need you to use them you need to use them before people realize just how versatile they really are you see and you just add bits of your stamping here and there let me take this off the block because then I can add a bit of stamping I wasn't going to do this but I'm adding a bit of stamping in the background as well <laughs> oh yes they make me quiver in real life I must admit Belinda they do make me quiver in real life although some of them are beautiful beautiful colors so I'm just using this as it is just so that I can get like sort of a random feel to the background and we haven't even got a focal image on yet we haven't even got a focal image so just put it back on the block because I want to add a little bit more down there I've got embossing powder on my stamp on the back of my stamp bees and beetle oh so I'm just going to add a bit more stamping to my background I'm gonna to have to put it further up my block because I've put that piece of wood on 
and then realised I wanted to add some stamping which is what I do a lot of the time there we go so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the B I'm now going to stamp the B so we've got the B let's just move this all out the way just so that we can see what we're doing the verses the verses the verses Linda the verses what number is the verses please it isn't a verses Linda it's do you mean this one it's on my A4 stamp set plant your dreams 320 is that what you meant sorry yes he did you did ask abs he said next release didn't he so I'm just using that one Linda if that's what you meant I could I could be wrong let me just get this for me B. Part of the pair step stamp. Thank you. I like how you all know the stamps before I know the stamps. It's just hilarious. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stamp my B with the ground espresso. The text on the stamp, yes, it's it's 320. 320. Do you mean this one with the wood? The wood bit. That's stamp set 320. So I'm just going to stamp my B and I'm using the oxide this time because I want it to be vintage. I want my wonky pair. <laughs> Do you want your wonky pair, Hope? I can always offer you a, hot, a wonky pair. Always. So even with distress oxide, that stamps beautifully. Even with distress oxide. But what I like about the B is it's a good size. So it's a good size on its own. Thanks, Blinda. That would really help me. Oh, what did Lucy ask? What did Lucy ask? Where's Lucy now? Lucy, is there any news on abs bringing out other sizes? On yes, he is bringing other sizes out, Lucy. Um, but I don't know when. It might be the next release. I'm not sure. I haven't been told. So I'm just reactivating some of that distress oxide. Just... Don't worry, I won't be on that long, so you won't miss Tim. I know Tim's on at six. There's no way I'll be on that long. So I'm just reactivating the Distress Oxide on the B. And I just love how this just shades nicely. Just adds a bit of shading to your B. Every day I'm waiting for the postage. And, and if nothing drops through the letterbox, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> But what I like is, is a good size and even just in the oxides, look how lovely detail that is. Oh, thank you, Chris. Oh, so yes, so I'm really pleased with that. So I've cut him out. Of course, I've cut the bee out. Of course, I've cut the bee out. But look how, because of the size of the bee, it's not too big. It's not too small. So he sits nicely on that piece of wood. He sits nicely on there. So what I'm going to do now is just as part of the beehive, there's some words on the beehive. So what we're going to do... <laughs> oh, bless Lucy. <laughs> what time are we on now? Oh, we're all right. We're okay for time. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the words on the beehive. On the beehive, there's two words. There's protect and bees. So I'm not using the beehive this time, but you could use the beehive on its own. But I'm just using the two words that are on the beehive, trying to make as much use of the stamps as possible. So you've got protect and bees. Oh, was it sent on Friday, Sara? Yay! That's brilliant news. So what I'm going to do is, do you remember the bit of skin that I broke up a few days back when I created the skins? Hello, Loretta. I created these skins a few days back. So if you put that skin over there, can you see? You can still see the text. So you can still see the text through there. Do you remember that film we used to iron? 
Eh? The film, that film we used to iron. Oh, thank you for sharing, Margaret. Thank you. So I'm just going to add some of this adhesive because I'll hide it. I'll hide it under the B. So we'll hide the adhesive under the B. So I'm just going to add some of that textural element. So this is the vintage beeswax that I melted the other day. Nothing goes to waste. I can't waste it. So we're going to add the B here. Angelina fibre. And Carolyn says she's still got some. Oh, that we used to iron, yes, Angelina fibres, yes. That you can do with your stamps as well. You can iron it, can't you, and put your, do it with your stamps. I was thinking you were talking about ironing then. I was thinking, has Lucy lost the plot? She wants to iron. Yes, use your Susie Weinberg wax. The first and the original lady that bought, bought out the... Uh, what do you call it? Melt pot? Fantasy film. I've got this little vintage peg here that I'm going to add to my background. So the vintage peg, I want him here below the bee. And I've got my two words, protect the bees. I've got them as well. So I'm going to add my vintage peg to my project like so. It will take a while to dry, so I'll leave that flat. What's an iron? Exactly, Hope. That's what I was thinking at first. When Lucy put iron, I was thinking, Lucy wants to iron. I was getting very concerned. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've just said Lucy's lost the plot. <laughs> this is a very cute clothespin. Very cute. So what we've got here is protect the bees so we can cut these so that we've got the text protect the bees somebody's shaking a can outside I don't know what they're doing so protect the bees is going here I'm shopping iron for salad spinner <laughs> I'm swooping iron for salad spinner so I'm just going to add, I'm wondering what somebody's shaking in my garden because I can hear a can shaking. So we're going to add protect the bees. And I love how you can see that text underneath. Hello, Susan. But not on fabric, exactly. I don't like ironing fabric. It's not really interesting. There you go, Chris. You need to use them if they're floating around in your craft room. I would use them. So then what I'm going to do is get the other stamp set from the B. Where's my B stamp set? I've got that many stamp sets here. I can't see a thing. Where's my B stamp set? There it is. All tucked away where you can't see it. So I'm then going to use this background stamp to take one of the words. You see, this is just using parts of the imagery. I'm not even using the whole lot. Hello, Susan. So I'm now going to add, and somebody's just said splatters. <laughs> so I'm now going to add the word pollen. So I'm just going to stamp in the oxide and add a little touch of black to the brown, just so it's not all black add that to my calico like so and this just gives me another texture so there we go we've just used part of the stamp set let me just put that back i could smell spray spray paint somebody spraying something in my garden don't think we need to know that side of your life maureen hey eh? sewing <laughs> So I'm just going to tear my, I just love adding textures. Do you swing more? <laughs> I should put swing instead of sewing. Oh, I love it when somebody else puts the wrong word. 
So Maureen swings. She doesn't sew, she swings. That is so funny. Maureen swings, did you know? So I'm now going to add this pollen. That is so funny. Oh, thank you, Chris. It's, it's so difficult when you're designing, when you're sitting there, because it's not until you get the stamps that you realise how they can be used. Some stamps don't sing to you. Some stamps don't speak to you when you, when you first get them. But then other stamps do. So you, it's all about sort of playing with them and, you know, making sure that... Now I want it there. Making sure that you enjoy them and use every part of them as well. I like to use every part of the stamp and also mix them up as well. So now what I'm going to do, I used to design quilts and make them and used an iron on them. But that was for, you used to make quilt scaler, wow. Hello Shifa from Singapore, hello there. Good afternoon, good morning or whatever time it could be. So I'm now going to add some scratchy lines to the background just to bring in some cream paint just because I think that'll be a nice touch just adding some of these cream scratchy lines to the background it, it all helps just to lift the, the design stick your rusty nails please I use my tonic PVA glue to stick Ooh. To stick my rusty nails, I use my tonic PVA. But you can use any strong gel medium, anything like that. A gel medium will do as well. But I use my tonic glue. It seems to be fine. So I'm just adding some cream scratchy lines just to give another texture. I don't like to rush what I'm doing. I like to just think... And I just think that just adds a little bit of another element. Crafty bees. Oh, you have a small group. Crafty bees. That's what we all are. We're all crafty bees. So I'm just adding these scratchy lines along my project. Just because I love that touch of cream paint. It just sort of shabbies it up a little bit. And these little touches, for me, just make it, they make it more interesting. But if I'm doing a project, I like to enjoy what I'm doing. I don't want to cover them words up, but I do want to add a little bit of the paint. Just to make sure that it all coordinates. It's Chris Smith, something I don't do very often. What did Chris say? What did Chris say? Something I don't do very often. Chris said something. And Jane says she doesn't do very often. Hello, Ros. How are you, Flower? How's your fur, baby? How's your fur, baby? So I'm going to add, you guessed it, some white splatters. Just to lift it, let's get the, pen, the old pen going. That's better. Just add a few splatters. Ready to move and found a huge tin of rusty screws. You see, I class that as a result, Leslie. Oh, cleaning. Oh boy, don't get me on cleaning. Oh. So what I'm going to do is I'll add this to a circular canvas. And I have to say, I'm really pleased with that. Very simple, nothing complicated, but I'm so pleased with the way the bee, and you've, we've added those textures with the beeswax, the little peg, obviously this will dry clear. And the little, I think the little scratchy lines really add to it as well. I just love the scratchy lines. I think the cream really adds to it. Bring that down a bit, Tracy, so that people can see. I'm, so, I'm really pleased with it, Anne. I just like the fact that it, it all the layers just all repeat. So it's like repeat layers. So it's repeating your layers. But I'm now, I'm loving that background stamp. I just love how it looks in the background. I just, I'm really pleased with the, it's just all cohesive. Quite pleased with that. And that B's a nice good size. 
So what I'm doing now is I'm having a couple of days break. So I'm having a couple of days break, but what I've done is I've loaded eight videos to YouTube from my one of my previous one day one of the one day specials eight videos for her chandy. So I've loaded those to YouTube for you so that you don't get bored while I'm off for two days. So I've loaded eight videos to my YouTube channel. If you can't find my YouTube channel, it should be in my group, but I will add it later. But I've added eight videos to the YouTube. Your awareness of... Oh, thank you, Chris. That really means a lot. But I've added eight videos to YouTube to give you something to do for the next two days. I don't want you thinking you can slack. So I've added eight videos from one of my one day specials just to show you that you can maybe watch those and maybe do some of them techniques. So they're all on YouTube now and I will be back on Tuesday. So Tuesday I'll be back. But in the meantime, for Sunday and Monday, there are eight new videos on YouTube for you. So if you're a bit bored or you want something to inspire you, if you go to my YouTube channel, there's eight videos there for you. So don't think you're having a break. <laughs> you're not getting a break, Belinda. I'm not letting you off that lightly. No way. <laughs> I've put some videos for you so you can carry on. <laughs> so uh, hopefully in those eight videos, you'll find something to inspire you. So then what I'm going to do is that over the next week, if there's something that inspires you from YouTube, you tag me in a project of what inspires you in your project, what, what YouTube videos inspired you. I need you to tag me in that project. You've got a week to 10 days to do it. I will draw a winner. And the winner, I will buy a stamp of their choice from a shop of their choice. So what you need to do is you watch YouTube. Whatever video inspires you, you create a project. I don't care if it's a project this big, a tag, a book, a card. I'm not bothered. And I'll draw a random winner. And the random winner, I'll buy you a stamp set of your choice from the shop of your choice so when I draw the winner you let me know what stamp you want and I'll go and buy it from that stockist so just let me know but you have to tag me you have to tag me in project new project Tracy Evans and then I know you're in the draw so if you tag me in new project Tracy Evans and I will draw a winner in a week to ten days and then you can buy a stamp set. I'll buy you a stamp set of your choice. So you can pick your own stockist or whatever, but you can, I will buy you a stamp set of your choice. So I'll pick a winner in about 10 days time. So no problem at all. So hopefully I will see you in two days time. So I'll see you on Tuesday. Tag I meant, yeah. So you need to tag Tracy Evans, new project. And then when I draw the winner, I'll message it and say, right, which stamp set would you like? I don't care who it's from. It doesn't have to be from All and Create. It can be whatever stamp set you want. I'm not bothered, size or whatever. And then I'll buy that from the, the stockist of your choice. So I will see you all in a couple of days. And, and just mention the name Belinda. <laughs> So I will see you all on Tuesday. I've no idea what I'm making on Tuesday, but we'll make it up. So hopefully you enjoyed that and I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye everybody. Take care. Have a lovely afternoon. See you in a couple of days. Bye.